What's up guys, today we're going to be going out and making some Hot Wheels videos. Some of you may or may have not seen this, um, but I've been doing it on TikTok as well as YouTube Shorts. But it's where I go out and I find people's cars and I put a mini Hot Wheels version of their car on their car and then we wait and see their reactions. So today we're going to go out. Um, you guys are going to get a little look of the behind the scenes and how I do it. Hopefully we can get some great reactions. Of course, today we're going to be rocking the Hot Wheels socks. And now we need to put on some shoes. Hi, John. Hey. Get ready to go and let's do this thing. <laughs> and obviously, before we start making any videos, we got to get ourselves some food. As we were eating lunch, we saw a couple of GTRs drive by. There was a red one and a white one, and they actually pulled into the Chevy dealership over here. So we're gonna go check those out, and after that, we're gonna head over to a retail spot and find some cars to put Hot Wheels on. We got a white one, um, we got this red one. We also got a Camaro over there, but obviously these are a lot more cool. Yeah, Look at that. They're zooming. <laughs> Well, that was super exciting, but we're gonna head over to Shields and then I'm gonna show you guys like the best places to go to look for cars to leave Hot Wheels on. Cause sometimes you could be waiting there for 10 minutes or you could be waiting there for like two hours. So I'm gonna show you guys the best places to go as well as some of the places that I go. One of the keys to making these videos is being in a place where people are in and out quick. So as you can see, we got some restaurants over there. We got Shields over there, which is just like a sporting goods place. And so a lot of people come in and they either pick up some food or they leave these places pretty quick. I will usually put my GoPro right there. And if I can park in front of them, usually I'll put that up, um, call it good. I'll just put the Hot Wheels down on their car. Um, press record on my GoPro and then sometimes I walk into Shields and just start checking it out. So let me show you my setup that I have. So when setting up, I like to have my GoPro on my roof rack right here ready to go. Um, but also means I need to always have a fully charged battery. So I always have one charging in my car, um, always ready to go. And then I just have my little note that I leave for these people um, pre-written so that if I see their car, um, I can just hop on it real quick and throw a Hot Wheels on their car and be on with their day. Now for the Hot Wheels. I have them set up like this so when I'm making the video you guys can see all the different Hot Wheels that I have. Quite a bit of them, like a seat full. They're looking pretty and ready to be plopped on someone's car. So I'd say it's time to go find a car. So you may have seen, but when I was recording that first part, a Camaro pulled in right behind me and they headed into Shields. So I moved my car, I parked it in front of their car, and now we gotta see if we have a Hot Wheels for them. So now we're gonna switch over to my iPhone, um, how I usually record it, get their reaction on the GoPro. And we're gonna flip over to the iPhone now. Alrighty, so we just got done recording the video with my phone and then um, we're just gonna wait for these guys to come out and grab their Hot Wheels. So in the meantime, we're just gonna go walk around Shields, kind of waste some time. Hopefully they're in and out pretty quick. Uh, but while we're in Shields, we're actually gonna be recording on the GoPro, which is up on the roof rack.
you guys saw that, but they got their Hot Wheels, they enjoyed it. We're gonna go try and look for another car. Um, hopefully we have the Hot Wheels for it. That's another thing that I find challenging making these videos is a lot of the times it's hard to find these Hot Wheels. There's just been a big shortage of them. They're super popular and trying to find the real cars has been really hard lately. So a lot of the times I just go to stores that I usually don't see as many people going through or sometimes I'll just hop over to Target every once in a while to see if they restocked. As you can see, I do have a ton of Hot Wheels. So for now, I don't have to worry too much, but that is something I have to think about. We found a C8. I already know we got a Hot Wheels for this one, so we're just gonna wait and see what their reaction is. This one, we actually waited for a while and they ended up not coming out. I'm sure they will eventually, but it was just taking a long time and we're just gonna leave their car there with the Hot Wheels on it and hopefully they find it and hopefully it brightens their day. It looks like we need to get some more gas, but right after that, we are gonna be looking for some more Hot Wheels. This thing looks so clean. Too bad we do not have a Hot Wheels for it, but I like it a lot. Now, living in Utah, we don't have an abundance of nice cars, but we do have an abundance of Camaros. Look at that green. I do like how unique this one is though. So since I have kind of an awkward angle at this car, I will be using my phone to record. I'll just be trying to be a bit more discreet. Right now I am waiting for the person in the green Camaro to come out. But I realized I didn't tell you guys some of the worst places to go. Some of the worst places, in my opinion, to go to look for cool cars to leave Hot Wheels on, malls, or sometimes restaurants. So really, coming outside of this Olive Garden is a risk. Um, because obviously from earlier, we saw that when we were over at Buffalo Wild Wings that we waited for a while and they still didn't come out. So we didn't get to catch their reaction. So hopefully we have some better luck here and that we get a good reaction. She obviously saw it on her windshield, but who knows, maybe she was kind of spooked. Um, but she did hit it with her windshield wipers and drove away with it on her windshield. So hopefully she finds it and hopefully she sees a nice message on it. Of course, I don't want to scare anyone or make them feel weird. Hopefully it doesn't fall off on the road either, but she has a cool car. Now it is on to the next one. Oh no, guys, it fell off of her car. Here, hold up. I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna go pick it up. Oh, that's such a letdown. I can't believe it fell off of her car. Cause now, now she doesn't know that it was like a kind message. Hopefully she sees the TikTok. I mean, that's the best I could hope for. I, hopefully she sees it and hopefully she sees that it was a nice gesture. Um, I didn't want to make her worried in any way. I'm sorry if I did. That That is a first, that's never happened. Now we're really gonna go on to the next car. So we have found another car. It is a Mustang. So we're gonna be plopping that car on there and catching their reaction. So I just put the Hot Wheels on their car, but this is how I set up for when I start using my phone to record reactions. I just plop my phone on there and then like focus on the car and see like what we're gonna get. But yeah, that's just how I do it on my phone. Sometimes it's easier and it looks better, so I like doing it. But now we gotta watch out for them. Well guys, this one ended up taking a while, so we're just gonna have to give up on it. Um, I know they will be coming out soon. Um, I just didn't have the time to stick around and wait for it. But I hope they do love it and I hope they enjoy it and just brightens their day. But yeah, we gotta head on out. All 
All right, guys, for those of you that stuck around, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys would like to see those full videos up and posted, you can head over to my TikTok. These should also be coming out on YouTube Shorts pretty soon. I'm trying to catch those up. Also, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time.